Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, so another uh, Stellarium prophecy came true. I, I really honestly didn't even remember this. <laughs> um, but Brandy Taylor in our group, she, um, I got the text message today and she copied the prophecy the Lord gave me May 9th. And then she showed me the Stellarium picture. So I thought that was really cool because I don't even remember reading this message. Um, but here it is. So it was about the scorpion tail having a swirl in it. And that happens tonight at 3.53 a.m. I believe here on the East Coast. Okay, so um, it is my child guns in Saudi Arabia. The storm has rolled in. The wind tunnels. The freight train will be at the last stop. The flowers look at the prophets. Count the leaves on the trees. I have revealed the date to my prophets. They have sealed it till I ask them to speak. They obey my commands because they love me. It's coming soon. Count the days and look at 43. The seals are reversed. They are the beginning and the end. They have a double meaning. Look at the numbers. They mean something. Trumpets sound off my judgments. The seals start my wrath. How many days in between each trumpet blast? How many days does the flowers bloom? Meteor showers, a parade of lights, rock falls, a rock's fall, a war of lights everywhere, lightning strikes, the ninth hour, my chosen ones and children will be gone. The animals do not worry, they will be perfectly safe. Do I not feed the birds? Does the animals obey my commands? Aren't we one spirit and go to the same place? I will protect them. Now this is the scorpion. The scorpion, look at the swirl. Is it at my hour? The battle has started. The kings will come together. They will unite. Israel and Damascus will be a target. The lunar eclipse, it won't be scheduled. Look at the dawn breaking. The clock stops. So the dawn breaking happened yesterday, I believe, at 522 a.m. So I know we're getting close, guys, because literally, and now the scorpion tail is happening. Also, I'm going to tag the um, Stellarium picture that they sent me on this video so you can see it. Um, the battle has started. The kings will come together. They will unite Israel and Damascus will be a target. The lunar eclipse, it won't be scheduled. Look at the dawn breaking. The clock stops. Constellation upside down. Spike will blow. Look up, child. I'm coming. I can't wait to see my bride. Jeremiah, look at the almond tree. Did Jeremiah not speak prophecy about the Jordan River? Acacia wood, what does it mean? How does it relate? My door is still open, but it will be closing very soon. Believe in me with your hearts. Confess I am Lord. I will save you. I wish for no one to perish. Even the wicked I wish to save. Repent. Come to me. I am forgiving, and you are saved by your faith and my grace. If you come to me, believe in me. You are counted righteous because you are covered by my blood on the cross. I died for you so you may be saved. So why do you have doubt? And why don't you trust in me? I'm forgiving and loving and I know everyone's heart. Do not be foolish, child. It's time to make a choice. I love you. Your Abba, your friend, your Lord God, and I have spoken. And of course, he gave me lots of scriptures with that. But um, it was the May 9th prophecy that I've already posted. Um, so I thought that was very interesting because, again, I don't know anything about Stellarium. But apparently, when the Lord speaks, he knew there was a spica. He knew that the scorpion was going to have a, a swirl. So cool. So cool how God is using his children in the end times. And I just pray. I pray for those people who won't, who won't listen. It's just Bible prophecy being fulfilled. You know, between family and friends and just lots of hate, you know. But I'm just I'm praying for all those people, and I love them, and that's all I can do, you know. I'm just being obedient to Jesus, because I love Jesus, and I know he's speaking. I do not doubt at all. I know he's speaking, because so much is coming true, and there's so many things behind the scenes you guys don't see that literally proves things all the time. It's just amazing. I can't explain it. 
um, the Bible verse of the day was 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 through 28. See that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. <laughs> Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way. And may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. God will make this happen. For he who calls you is faithful. Dear brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a sacred kiss. I command you in the name of the Lord to read this letter. To all the brothers and sisters, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Um, so that was the verse of the day. It always usually matches my life. <laughs> but, um, you know, God is good. He's so awesome. And I claim that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. He came to earth in the flesh. Um, he bled and died on the cross. He rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. And ignore the people on uh, YouTube trying to scam me. They're impersonating me by using my picture. You just click on the picture and you'll see they don't have a lot of subscribers. And I only have one page, so it's not me. They're just trying to get you to, like, um, uh, spend money on an orphanage. I'll never ask you for any money. Um, okay, so that was pretty much it. But I wanted to um, encourage the body of Christ again because we are getting closer. You know, the smiley face thing happened that was on Stellarium. And I felt like rapture was very close when this happens. Now, again, another rapture message that I got May 9th. And that was about the scorpion swirl. <laughs> God is speaking. And he's awesome. So if you do not know him, you know, come to him with repentance and believe in him with all of your heart. Confess he's Lord and he's going to save you. You know, he, he takes your sins away on the cross. So anyway, I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I'm hanging in there. <sighs> it's not easy being obedient to Jesus, but it just takes a lot of childlike faith. And uh, I will just continue to speak no matter what they say but let's just pray for those people that they I really want them to know the true Jesus you know Jesus is so he's so loving he's such a good God you know people people miss him they don't know the real Jesus and it's sad but all we can do is keep praying for them for them to really just lay their lives down for Jesus and just believe in their childlike faith. That's all we got. So I hope to see you guys at the wedding feast soon. I don't know when it is, um, but I know it's soon. I feel it in my spirit and the wineskins, the Lord told me they were pretty much complete now. So it's coming. Okay, guys, I love you so much. You have a blessed day. God bless.